All right, y'all, we're back out here, and it is the start of mango season here in South Florida. So some of these iguanas are gonna be really close range, and it's gonna be hard for me to get them with the scope because it's gotta be a certain yardage away for the scope to work. So that's why we got this new gun right here on the fleet. It is a uh, Ruger Max Impact. Matter of fact, it's my first gun that I ever got. Um, but they sell this at all your local sporting goods stores and stuff like that. Comes in the 22 caliber and a nice walnut stock. So it comes right out the package. Oh yeah, beautiful. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Very sturdy, very heavy. Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, right here are the open sights. So basically, you would just look up, look through it like that, get everything nice and level and you can take a nice clean shot. You gotta break the barrel every single time and it's a single loader. So there's no 10 round Mac, but like I said, oh, what, what is this? Whoa. Like I said, this is for close range combat. If an iguana is five to 10 feet away, I'll be able to euthanize him very quickly. Check it out, he even has a nice little strap. So this is the second generation of the gun. I had the first generation, it was really, really strong, but it's seen its better days with wear and tear. Check that out, right out the box, comes with a strap. Okay, I like it. And it comes with an optic. But like I said, we're gonna be using this just for close range combat with these giant iguanas. For example, there could be a mango tree, all the iguanas underneath there. That's when this boy come into play. We break the barrel, line them right up, teach them a super fat lesson and put them in the bag. Stay tuned guys, we're going to one of our old customers house. She just called me. The iguanas are back, the mangoes are back. It's it's just a fiesta and a fiasco going out there with all these iguanas. So we're gonna go back there, make contact. Every single iguana at this job has a bounty and needs to be eliminated, so stay tuned. Most importantly, we wanna make sure the gun is on. Drop a single pellet right in there. Just like that, perfect. Clamp it up. Okay, <laughs> brand new guys out the box, so it might take a second. There goes an iguana right over there, actually. We're not gonna take a shot at him, though. He's across the water, but let's see if we can hit a... Let's see if we can hit coconut right over there. You saw that, that stuff come out of it? All that ugh, thing seemed like it was pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. So let's load another one. Beautiful. Snap it back in. Dang. This stuff got some juice to it, y'all. It got some juice to it, so we're gonna test it out on the field. Uh, we're about to get everything set up. So stay tuned for an update. We'll see you guys at the job. I just spotted a goanna in the backyard, right next to my boat. I don't understand what's wrong with these iguanas, guys. They don't learn. They don't learn. Now we're gonna have to teach them a super fat one. See him right next to the boat. You see him? Barely missed. I don't know what these iguanas are doing. Got him. Got him. Ooh, he felt that one. I think he, he slumped over there.
Interesting. Okay. Look what I found. What? Right here. Oh, there he is. Snake iguana. Dude, he camouflaged. I went <laughs> literally right past him. Didn't even see him. I'm like, where did he go? I know he got blasted, but he just like, he disappeared, guys. But no, he was right there. Once again, that just goes to show the camouflage of these invasive lizards. Makes them extremely deceptive, guys. Dang, so he just, we just cold clocked him real quick with the Ruger. Let's see the shot placement. Oh, yeah. Super humane right there. One hit kill in the bag. Wow. Dang. Okay. Good deal, guys. It looks like we got our first with the new gun. Let's go ahead and put him in the bag. Let's get ready to go on the big job. We'll see you guys there. Peace. Hi, guys. We're back over here at the client's house. Just seen a mango fall. A pretty big one. And apparently these, these, these mangoes are falling and these iguanas are going ham on the mangoes, guys. So real quick, we're gonna see if we can make an encounter, an encounter with one of these iguanas. Let's see if we can die. Them. Oh my god, they're all through there. Okay, I see them. Zoom in on that, they're all through in that in that that nest right there, that big bush. There's one perched up right over there. There's two of them. Oh shoot. One going up the tree. One running that way. One just jumped in the water. Whoa! What on earth? I'm about to smoke that one. Head right there. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Look at that black one just popped out. He's done. He's done. He's done. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What on earth? Did you see that? We killed that one iguana and another one just popped right out. Like, like a freaking mole, guys. What on earth is going on with these iguanas? That was so insane. This is where they're nesting at, apparently, guys. Oh my God. There goes my bounty right there. Ugh, no body, no bounty, y'all. That's, that's the deal of it. Literally right there, but look look at the turf that I'm on, guys. Super, super dangerous. Let's see if she's right there. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the name of the game. That's why iguana, iguana removal ain't easy, y'all. Well, look, look at my feet, look at my feet, dude. Oh, this foot, look at that foot right there, dude. Look at that foot right there, bro. That's, oh, that's dangerous, boy. Go into a, you know, trying to go after an iguana, fall into a hole like that, break your ankle. All right, I know what we're gonna do. Since these iguanas are very smart, we're gonna have to set up some traps. So let's go get the traps, let's set them up. And I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about that. Um, right now, the iguanas are eating mangoes. So let's go by the tree, let's see if we can get some fresh bait. And then we will use that bait to our advantage. Just like fishing, guys, you wanna match the hat. If they're eating mangoes, feed them mangoes. That's why they're in this yard. Look, look at all these freaking mangoes everywhere. Big, fat, juicy, juicy mangoes. And as you can see, iguanas have already got to these mangoes. So we're gonna use these baits. Let's go catch some iguanas. Let's go get the traps, let's go. Shoo! We're back. We just came from the local store. We got some of these traps right here. We got small ones, we got big ones. So we're gonna go ahead and set all these traps up. It's your basic raccoon trap now. Some iguanas will go into it. Some of them won't, because as you guys know, iguanas are not dumb, okay? They're really smart. But the main thing how these traps work is 
it's got this little pin right here. You stick it like that. Then it's got a little plate in the middle. Iguana's walking in. Obviously, you're going to have bait in there. Click this plate. Oh, we'll try that again. <laughs> Sometimes these things don't even work either. Click the plate. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, that's why. <laughs> the trap door has a latch. Okay, let's try it again, y'all. Take three. Iguana, Iguana goes in, hits the plate. All right, we need to take this thing down, dude. Hold on. God dang it. There we go. All right, take that off. All right, take four. Okay, good to know. The iguana hits the plate. Boom. Trap door closes. The iguana is trapped. Like I was saying, you are going to match the hatch. Very important that you use the same bait that they're eating. Obviously, they love mangoes. So, open this trap door, get this mango. We're gonna go ahead, just rip it open a little bit, just expose some of that flesh, make it more appealing to these silly iguanas. Drop it in there, and we're gonna put it right outside the nest of these silly iguanas. This is where we've seen them at. So it would make the most sense to put it right here. And this is a perfect area because it has some shade. So we'll leave this one right here, just like that. Perfect. Got the trap, got the, got the mango. Make sure the, the fruit is up so they can see it. There you go. And just like that, guys, uh, we're gonna, we have six traps to set. So I'm gonna set them all. I'll show you guys the final product. Then we'll be back to check the traps. Stay tuned.